Uh, we saw the emotions in there and when they when they raised your hand. So I guess how, how are you feeling now that you know you do have your first UFC win under your belt? It's amazing. Um, the past year has been the toughest year in my life. I've literally had to overcome some disgusting shit. Um, stuff you'd never want to deal with. And then I was supposed to fight in March. I had my first week back in camp for that fight and I tore my meniscus and I flipped so I had to have surgery to get it shaved off. Um, just so much shit I've had to overcome to get in the cage to so to get that win is just um, really, really special. And I had my dad in my corner as well tonight so it was really special to have him there. What happened in the last year if, if you're comfortable talking about uh, it? It's very personal. I don't really want to get into it yet. So after dealing with all of that and then having the situation with your meniscus uh, I guess what was fight week like for you you know you finally got here and now you do have the win but like to actually get to fight week healthy and after everything you went through um fight week was actually a break <laughs> my life is so hectic at home i have a three-year-old boy and i train full time so it's go 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 like literally every minute of my day is penciled in for something so uh when i landed in manchester i kind of took a step away from the media so i didn't have to do as much as normal this time and um, so this fight week was literally a break for me it was a bit of time for me i was in my bedroom on my own for most of it and it was lovely <laughs> in terms of the actual fight how did it play out compared to what the game plan was coming in so my last bar last tuesday i split my eye open and um, so i kind of had a different tactic i suppose going into this i wasn't really able to stand and bang as such just not really my style anyway but I knew it was what she was going to bring so I had to kind of be careful because I didn't want my eyes to be cut open and the fight to be stopped so I had to be super careful about that and um, it did reopen slightly um, but I didn't feel it and it didn't really affect and um, I do feel like it took me a while to get into the fight I was only saying that to the lads there like normally I'd spar a bit in my warm-up which I couldn't do in case something happened to my eye in the warm-up so we had to overcome a couple of different scenarios in this week but um, we got the job done so that's all that matters. Well you said she, you assumed she was going to stand and bang but it seems like she had a lot of like a clinch heavy grappling game yeah. so what was did that catch you off guard in there um like so most of her fights are there she goes for the clinch and then kind of stays there or stands and bangs so i kind of was expecting either or um and then when she was in the clinch she felt quite strong so um, she's a good opponent look she came in two weeks now it's made the way i know she had a, a tough tough week was so fair play to her down that a lot of respect for um i know what it feels like to lose a ufc debut it's fucking shit um but i'm sure she'll come back from it do you see your coach patty hit his head on the camera between rounds what was he doing uh he just turned and like whacked his head on the camera oh did you what? you are well at least it wasn't me this time normally it's me kicking him in the head <laughs> <laughs> He's used to the headshots, it's all good. <laughs> Have him well trained. Uh, last one for me, were you surprised that it was split in the 30-27 scorecard? Yeah, I don't get that. I don't get that for sure. Look, here, a win's a win. <laughs> Thank how, you. How different did it feel this time, Sean, the second time around? Um, I felt so ready today. Like, even I was saying to the lads earlier on, I was like, I just feel like this is where I'm meant to be. The last time, it was so rushed. Um, and it was like an outer body experience, whereas I took in every moment of that and I had to overcome some different scenarios and I just felt like I belonged there tonight and um, I'm eager to get back in, so. Tell me, what's it like to have Paddy in your corner there? He is now the first, I think the first Irishman to win a UFC fight and to coach someone to a win in a UFC fight. Yeah. And did it make a big difference having your father there? Your dad's obviously a, a martial arts legend in Ireland, a great kickboxing coach. I know he's coached you since a young age. I mean, having that voice in your corner, I could hear him throughout the fight. Did that, how much did that mean to you? It was so special. My dad was there for my first ever MMA fight, and this is my first UFC win. So it was really special to have him in there tonight. And it's like that little voice, I've heard that since a young age, fighting all over the world. So it's so, so special to have him there tonight and get that win together. Congratulations. Thanks so much, Pete. Shauna, over here. Uh, you're one of three Irish fighters on this card. Kiefer's fighting now. Um, how does it feel to start with a win and hopefully these other two can get a win for Ireland as well? It's unbelievable. Like, I really wanted to be the first fight on this card. I literally said it from the get-go and then I was switched to the second one for a period of time and I was like, no, I really want to be the first fight. So to get the first fight and the first win for Ireland tonight is very special and I'm really sure these two lads are going to get another two wins on top of that as well. Did you get to spend time with uh, Kiefer and Kaylin this this fight week? Um, not so much Kaylin, but Kiefer, yeah. And Kiefer would train 
in Paddy's gym a good bit and like we'd be training together every Saturday in the ISI so I'd be around Key for a good bit we trained together like every week basically so um we were Key for a good bit at the camp I've seen Caelan a little bit but he obviously trains in England so I wouldn't see him as much but um yeah be pretty close with Kiefer. And uh, Alice stepped in on two weeks notice. How much did the game plan change from Oliveira to Alice? Um, slightly, yeah. I think, like, I tend to try and just focus on me. And um, there's obviously a game plan, and I'm working the game plan throughout camp, but I'm, I'm mainly focusing on my shots, my technique, and developing me as a fighter every camp. There are certain things that we'll be focusing on for the person, but I tend to not try and focus too much on the, the opponent because I've had so many pullouts and stuff in my career in MMA, so... Um, it's not something that I focus too much on. Um, I tend to try and focus on me, so there wasn't that much to switch around. And you mentioned having a cut. Um, will that impact you having a fight in the near future? When would you like to fight again? No, it's only a little nick. They put two stitches in it. I had uh, stitches in it like last week, um, and it healed up pretty fast. I healed fast, so I'd like to go again before Christmas. And my last question, um, how did it happen? Um, my last spar, my sparring session, my uh, training partner's hand came out of his glove and it just connected and the one time I didn't put Vaseline on my eyes, so it was just unfortunate. But um, yeah, look, it is what it is. Congratulations. If it wasn't difficult, it wouldn't be me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks so much. Sean, just, uh, when would you like to get back out again? I'd love to be in before the end of the year. Do you have any opponents in mind? Whoever. Whoever. And just one last one for me, you, you talked about it feeling a bit more comfortable. Was it just in the lead-up, last time you spoke about the, uh, the occasion maybe feeling like a blur in the cage? Did it feel any different this time? Um, no, I feel like, like I said there, normally I'd spar a bit in my warm-up um, and I didn't do that as much because I was cautious of the ice spitting open. So I feel like it took me a little bit longer to get going, but I, I felt okay in there. I was just taking my time because I knew... Alison had a big cuss, so I had a feeling that she'd gas, and I feel like I'm the fittest I've ever been. So um, I knew if it even took the 15 minutes, whatever it takes, I was willing to go the whole round. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks so much, guys.